In this video, I'm going to focus on how I designed the foldable hinge and also evaluated this hinge after the water test. Overall, I'm very happy with the design. I wrapped the middle part of the pontoons with a layer of corpust, which provided additional protection to the soft surface of the foam. I then cut sections of PVC pipes and mount the pipes onto the foam using zip ties. This is how it looks like. I used aluminum angles and pipes to create a frame. Then the pontoons are inserted onto the frame. The metal frame is rigid, which will minimize the saggings of the pontoons at the middle. Without the frame, I cannot really do the foldable hinge. This frame is made up of a 1 16th thick aluminum angle. I used this kind of a pipe strap. I use a, in this case I use a half inch diameter instead of one inch pipe strap. Mount four cross pipes, aluminum pipes, on four different parts of the frame. The length of this one would be an inch longer than this one. So that when you insert the pipe into all these mating pieces will be much easier. I, I add the diagonal angle bar and also one at the front and one, one at the back here. To keep this frame in a rectangular shape. Uh, and of course, this cross beam will, will help to maintain the shape also. When this piece is inserted into this blue piece, just like example here, there's always some free play clearance here, otherwise you cannot insert all the way in. So that's one area where it creates a uh, slack. Because this is just a zip tie, it, it is not that rigid, and so there is some free play here. I have to keep on tightening it. After my last trip, I have to tighten the plastic so that it will be more stable. Now a little bit more stable. And also this piece. I, I lift the tail here so that I can keep on tightening it until the package settles down. Now I put a piece of wood here and I try to bend it this way. It doesn't bend in further because this piece and that piece prevents it from further bending this way. Now, if I want to lift it up, if I lift it up, it doesn't collapse anymore. See, I try to push it. It doesn't collapse anymore because this piece stopped the, the pontoon from crushing each other as you can see here now without the frame it will crush onto each other this edge is very soft so if it has been crushed it may return back to its shape or if it's further crushed it will just broken or permanently bent but I don't see that I express the compression force will be a lot on the top of the foam surface. It may be compressed and then it is restored back to its original shape, but I don't feel it has been excessively compressed. It just flat the edge, the top edge. I don't see this part has been under stress. But then I have a total of one, two, three, six pieces which spread out the force being applied onto the foam block. Even though this water test is not that stressful to the design, 
I do notice there's a 0.6 inch sagging at the middle of the bolt. I feel comfortable that the hinge is working as expected. I have to keep monitoring the structural integrity and also tightening the zip ties after each use. Time will tell if this hinge lasts. I have come up with an even easier way to assemble this bolt. I will share that in my next video. Please support me by subscribing to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.